Dear viewer, thank you for watching this video on TILS. TILS are tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. TILS are the immune cells that should protect us against infections and cancer. This video was prepared by the International Immuno-Oncology Biomarker Working Group. Meet your companions in this story, the pathologist, the clinician, and the patient. What do TILS look like? Well, TILS are immune cells. They give us an indication on how strong immunity is attacking the cancer cells. These tiny little small blue cells are called lymphocytes and plasma cells. They are the TILS. Cancer cells look like this. So here we see plenty of immune cells attacking the cancer. This animation illustrates the location of immune cells in the cancer. The buildings represent the cancer cells. The dots are the immune cells trying to kill the cancer. On this image, you only see cancer cells. There are no tills, so the immune system isn't trying to protect the patient. The first publication on tills was exactly 100 years ago. In 1920, two physicians from the Mayo Clinic, Dr. Sistrunk, a surgeon, and Dr. McCarty, a pathologist, described the importance of the presence of immune cells in breast cancer. They established that patients with glandular and with local lymphocytic infiltration lived 146% longer than patients with glandular involvement without lymphocytic infiltration. As general facts, they've given some clue to the defensive mechanism of the body against malignant neoplasms. Regrettably, the tills have been forgotten for a century, until their resuscitation today. Tills have a level of evidence of 1B in triple negative breast cancer and HER2 positive breast cancer. This evidence is much more substantial than for some other biomarkers we used for decades in our breast cancer daily practice. Assessment of TILS in breast cancer using the internationally accepted assessment guideline will benefit both patients and future cancer research. Patients should feel empowered to request testing and ask for TILS to be scored. Patients will immediately understand more about their prognosis and this will help them with treatment decisions and provide longer-term reassurance. How should we use the TILS? TILS can be scored when making a histological diagnosis of breast cancer. TILS scored in daily practice provide the oncologist with important information on the survival of their patients. TILS inform patients on their cancer immunity and help them understand their prognosis. The day you need to identify patients for immune therapy, TILS can also help find those patients. Now, let's take a closer look at the guideline for the standardized evaluation of tumor infiltrating lymphocytes in breast cancer. This guideline consists of five steps and is based on H&E slides of core biopsies or full slides of properly fixed tissues. Step 1. Define the area for TILS evaluation. Only TILS within the borders of the invasive tumors are evaluated. The invasive edge is included in the evaluation, but not reported separately. Immune infiltrates outside the tumor borders are not included. Large areas of central necrosis or fibrosis are not included in the evaluation. Step 2. Focus on stromal tills. In the clinical setting, only stromal tills are relevant. It's important to understand where to score, namely in the stromal area. Here's a tumor zone with both a stromal as well as an intratumoral or intral epithelial compartment. Scoring tills in the intratumoral compartment is poorly reproducible between pathologists. That's why we score tills only in the stromal area. Scan the tumor at low magnification and focus on tumor stroma. The stroma contains predominantly collagenous tissue with a few immune cells, or the stroma contains many immune cells, hence the collagenous tissue is difficult to recognize. Step 3. Determine the type of inflammatory infiltrate. Include only mononuclear cells, lymphocytes and plasma cells, not granulites. 
do not include immune cells in necrotic areas. Step 4. As a first approach, include the tumor in one of three groups based on low magnification and assess the percentage stromal tills. Group A. Tumor with no minimal immune cells, 0 to 10% stromal tills. Group B. Tumor with intermediate heterogeneous infiltrate, 10 to 40% stromal tills. For this intermediate group, evaluate different areas at higher magnification. And Group C. Tumor with high immune infiltrate, 40 to 90% stromal tills. The denominator used to determine the percentage stromal tills is the area of stromal tissue, not the number of stromal cells. Step 5. Report the percentage of tills. Report the average of the stromal areas you see. Don't focus on hot spots. On our website, you'll find a set of reference images that can help you define the stromal tills for your case. Here are some examples. There are no tills on this image, so the score is 0%. Here, the number of tills is still very low, around 10%. Now, we're up to around 50%. And on this final image, there are plenty of immune cells, namely more than 80% of tills. These are the five steps of our guideline for the standardized evaluation of tills. We hope they come in handy in your daily practice. We are here to help, so if there are any questions, please contact us. Be careful with the assessment of tills. There can be some pitfalls. Visit our website and learn more about them. Also, have a look at the paper of Suzanne Koss in Nature NPJ Breast Cancer with all the details hereof. Nearly 25,000 people from 42 different countries have visited our website. Why don't you join the TIL work group? Scoring TILs is relatively easy and training tools are freely available. TILs informs patients on how immunity looks like in cancer and it informs pathologists and clinicians of the status of immunity in the cancer of their patients. Finally, it's all about collaboration if we want to bring new biomarkers into daily practice. Our working group practices what we preach, and we invite patients, clinicians, regulatory authorities and industry to be part of this. If you want to know more about TILS, please contact the International Immuno-Oncology Biomarker Working Group. Our work is supported with BCRF funds. Thank you for your attention.